It's not too often when I get to say this, but this part of the Corvette build was made possible by Raid Shadow Legends. Some of the most amazing things about Raid is that it is completely free. It has some of the best graphics I've seen on a mobile game yet to date. It actually looks like it should be something that's on a PC. As many of you know, I love PC gaming. Just look at how crazy the level of detail is on these champions. Not only that, everybody's getting ready for the first tournament, and there are tournament-specific prizes to be won there. The gameplay is really easy to get understanding of, but there are so many details that are pretty awesome. Of course, obviously there I am, kicking some ass, but ultimately, you've got all these different moves, you've got special abilities, you've got armor, and all those sort of things to upgrade, and it really just sucks you into that world. Download Raid now through my link and get 50,000 silver plus a free epic champion in the link below. They are already at it. This is a very exciting moment. This is just one, we've only heated one shot, but it's like 80% out. This is all narrowed up and I mean, we're not done yet. We're not yeah. done yet. We shaped all these first off, pulled yeah. that cross member where this was all folded up under, and then uh, roughed out some of the dents. And we'll put this back on. Uh, welded the nuts back in here. I put the cage in, bolted it in, and then welded the nuts. So oh, perfect. That way, much easier with access before yeah. we. Oh, good point, yeah. You know, before we cap it off, so. We are out at State Frame, and they've just gotten the car on the rack. They've done a lot of the small things. They got a lot of the bolts, the nuts are it's basically welded back in, so pieces like the headlight, and all of those things can be mounted back onto that frame. But we're here, right as they're ready, to make the bigger changes and pull the frame down to where it needs to be. I'm, I'm impressed that came out. Just when it went up, it just narrowed like, yeah, like half of its width. And what angle did you have to pull that at? Was that one of those where you pulled it down? Uh, hard forward. Oh, okay. So, so the, you know, the rail was like this. So we did this. We have double plate here and hard forward. And then we're holding there. That side's not too bad. This was the bad side. That just kind of went along for the ride. So okay. uh, that one we really don't need to heat as yeah. of yet. Which I'm glad because there's a lot of stuff going on over there. Yes, yeah, the booster, right. the steering shaft. So here we moved everything up and uh, really quite open. Good, so. good, go ahead. Good job. Yeah. So those two are the, the uh, things that hold that that really thin square tube frame in. That way we can control. So those are back in. These are all back in on these side. That's for the headlights. Oh, it's still warm. Is this the yeah, one? Just put your hand over it. Oh, I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you see the slightest bit, like you said, the last little bit right there. The interesting thing I wonder is, remember when we were taking off the front subframe? When we took the front subframe off, the whole thing would like let go. But yeah, the motor's ready. The wild, the wild part is we actually have, so the, the, the torque tube underneath the car, we took that over to a uh, engineering shop and we made an adapter. So the transmission straight up bolts up to the, the new engine. Yeah. yeah this, they're about level now. That's awesome. This other one, they start out like this. The well, car's got pictures of it too for you. Okay, you can almost snap off. And then these gauges will tell us when we get start getting close. A little parallel. There's three of them. Well, I have one out, but uh, yeah. there's three of them. That'll tell us. Uh, oh, this is for the vet? For data. Just all we need is data. Yeah. You know, the data is the height of the wheel. Okay. So that's where you want to run this. From these are upside down to bottom side. Okay. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. We use data gauges. Yeah, it's all you can better take a snapshot of that. Okay, thank you. Oh, we gotta watch. As you guys are uh, pulling, this is 10 tons. Well, they can just come over to the side. That's all. Yeah, off okay. the side because of, uh, if one of these shot off, you go through the Yeah, okay, we yeah, this side really down. didn't uh, so we're, we're staying away because he said they're throwing about 10 tons of force into this. The tank's definitely gonna fly. <laughs> the whole car's gonna just. 
<laughs> they're doing it to the right frame rail, right? Um, so I think they're going to do the last little bit to this side, and then they're going to add some potential heat to the driver's side. But yeah, okay, okay, we get to see it. We get to see the last of the the kink is getting removed. <laughs> Film this. See how nice that gap is. You can show them. You see this side yet, Rob? No. They didn't even take that off. They, they just did the work from the front, and the rest follow. You know, file in. That's really impressive. The back to a level. Uh, put a knee on there, and I'll show you what you're looking for. What you want to do? You want to look at at the the center line pins. But we're going to use the back tube, yeah. and then those gauges that run parallel. Oh, wow. See the twist in the front? Yeah. Actually, this rail is still really high. Okay. Wow. Uh, just go right here, here, Rob. About go right through here. About all out. Wow. Remember how high that was? It was pinched up pretty high. Big, yeah. It was clear as day. Yeah, a couple little. And then all that stuff in there was watered up. Kind of. Almost a little whoop to do right there. But so when you broke really that customer loose, this, this wheel kicked seen, up. But... It kicked up higher. Well, you know, a lot of guys would be afraid of this, and a lot of guys wouldn't know how to do it. And you know what guys, I've seen guys do? They'll torch all that out, pull it, and like tap it down. And, oh, and then let it come down and then weld it up. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Oh my God. We've seen it all. Creative people, years. yeah. I've been 40 years, so we've seen it all. Yeah. So what these little T-shaped pieces are actually using the data that was on that sheet to make sure they know where the problems are at on well, in comparison to each other. Those points match to these points here. So this is the front side, so they're putting them in certain spots and measuring the height of those. Okay, we'll support the end as we pull that one down. This is the other side. Yeah. You'll see how these gauges from side to side. This is about right on the money. Oh, yeah. Wow. See that? Yeah. Pick up the back one. And then see the bubble on top is just to make sure you're level. Okay. okay. That's what that's for. Yeah, They're 100 years old, but they work. So what we do now, we want this side to come down to meet that. What you think. Yeah, I drilled these holes in here yesterday. And yeah, we measured down and back and centered drilled holes so we can do this, so I just know. Otherwise you hang them over the rails and a lot of times they're not accurate. Take a look right there, see how far off that gauge is on center line. When this rail comes down, that pin will go this way. Oh, so that okay. brings the center line in. I see what you're saying. This thing could be vertically right, but then it could be side to side wrong. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. We yeah. that's that little center pin will be. Once, yeah. we, uh, once we're getting like really, really close down to the end, that center pin in the middle of these gauges, yeah. all three should line up as one.
then the center line, see, all right three bars across. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, we're giving all our secrets. Yeah. <laughs> and then way. see how they're all parallel, even with the cross number. So you look there, it's all oh, flat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, now they're all there. flat. It makes sense. So this one. Yeah. It turned out pretty nice. So I'm happy with this coming recording yeah oh I was, I was waiting for the beep beep <laughs> all right so uh jared is currently I'm gonna <laughs> throw you into the bus again <laughs> jared's not going out with his uh girlfriend that he yeah. just broke up with um <laughs> he might get back with her later but after he gets this out of his system so they're wrapping up this is the game of like almost that that thing where half of half of half of half you know, one of those mathematical impossibilities where you're just constantly fine-tuning it more and more we're gonna let them be get the camera out of their face and I'm gonna come back after lunch and see the final product. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the final product today. Oh, it looks so good. Wow, that is like, just, I can just see. Yeah, I finished off this, welded all this in, and I did a little body caulk and make it a little bit cleaner. Yeah. Clean it up and then, uh, well, you, I'm sure you saw how bad the welds were. <laughs> yeah. In fact, not that they were structurally bad, just physically. Yeah. Right. Nothing too pretty. And yeah. Came out real nice. Yeah. And everything. Real, real happy with it. this whole area here. A uh, couple little. Yeah. Small cosmetic uh, things you can't get to because it's a box, but. Yeah. For the most part, that came out really nice. Oh yeah, because we had that massive. Cube. That big hump. Yeah. yeah. There's a little dimple here, but I I think it's because uh, it's welded here and it kind of. It forced, a, yeah. yeah, this little dimple there, but considering yeah. where uh, where it started, yeah. And this here will be hidden from where your fender laminate you know, gets glued on, so yeah, you won't see a lot of the, uh, the little grinding where it's kind of there. The camera's got like levelers; you can actually see everything just looks level. Oh, good. It's so neat. I mean, your measurements are way better good. than that, but it, it's just yeah. hilarious that you can see, see a line. Oh, okay. All right. And so it's just Maybe everything. Buy one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the, <laughs> the camera. I took this off, so I wanted to uh, this. In bringing this reel down, that body sealer bond. Yeah. Uh, it broke loose, so I would probably when you glue that side, reglue this side. But I popped this fender off because I wanted to see what's behind here and how this. Yeah. Bolts into a plate back here. Yep. Uh, there's four bolts, and I wanted to see how if that got really knocked out of whack, and it really wasn't. Yeah. So, but the bond, um, the bonding stuff, you know, broke loose yeah, that, up and through here. So you just have to re-glue it. But, you know, I knew when this rail went up and coming down, cause you have to go past oh, yeah. and then release to get where we need to be. And I heard that yeah. that stuff just tore, so. Well, I mean, to me, it was kind of impressive that it had held on to begin with. It's funny cause I think this piece actually does have uh, the other VIN number because I think there's I know there's one yeah. on this side but I think there's one I don't remember where it's right here yeah I think yeah so it's kind of funny <laughs> it cracked me up when I realized that just this crash bar yeah has the VIN on it yeah a removable part well this is perfect because this is so good and we've got it all documented that there should be no problem having you know getting the car in a rebuilt status you know? oh not at all yeah. and you have all documentation yeah. And it's, it's, there's no cut corners at all. No, there's no uh, wells or yeah, whatnot. There you have it. The car is structurally sound. The entire frame, the chassis is complete. We're going to get this thing loaded up and Monday morning, get it back to the shop and the insanity just starts then. This was, this was kind of the calm before the storm. We've been collecting parts. We've been doing all of the, the planning, all of the little custom engineering pieces, but now it's go time. And now we've got about 45 days until LS Fest. <laughs>